Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Genshin Impact. So, uh, a new banner and a new character has been released in the game, uh, Kadehara Kazuha. So as always, I'm gonna take a first look at this new character. We're gonna see the talents, uh, the skill, the burst, you know how the overall gameplay of this new character works. I'm gonna give you guys my, my impressions and my thoughts. And then I'm gonna also pull um, some wishes on the new uh, the new banner. So uh, first of all, this is a sword user character. It's gonna be an anemo character. And uh, um, now in this case, in the trial, it's gonna be level 80. Um, he's gonna have these stats right here. So a lot of elemental mastery, and we're gonna see why elemental mastery is uh, such a, an important thing for this new uh, character uh, then the weapons he's equipped with this new five star weapon a freedom sworn as well level 80 rank uh, one and you can see that has attack and elemental mastery as main uh, stats also the artifacts is equipped with a four set very decent uh, venera so extra ammo damage and then extra sword and uh, less uh, elemental resistance for the for the enemies hit by this weird uh, and then we have the talents. So uh, once again, sword user is going to have in this case five uh, uh, attacks on the Honey's combo. The third uh, hit is going to do a double slash, so two different percentages of damage. And then the fifth attack is going to instead do the um, the damage three times. Uh, of course, all these talents in this case are level eight, so the, these percentages are are already. Like boosted from like level one and now we can see here the the um, uh, animation so that's the first attack second third you can see double fourth and then the fifth one very very cool the animation especially of the fifth uh, attack the fifth hip of the combo you can see he blinks he disappears he deals that furry of blades and then he reappears once again uh, very cool as well the animation um, when he sheets the the sword at the end can see here so very very nice uh, and the important details about the animations uh, then we have again uh, as well here the charge attack and the plunge attack uh, percentages so that's the uh, charge attack right doing double uh, damage damage twice and then we move on to the skill so it's called Chiha Yaburu um, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly Anyway, you can see that first of all, he's gonna do uh, an ammo damage in an AOE, so in an area around him. Um, he's gonna launch opponents doing this damage and he's gonna also pull them together, close together. Then he's gonna be pulled towards the air. Then uh, uh, when he's in the air, he can use the plunging attack with extra stats. In this case, you can see the uh, plunging attack is gonna be called Midare Ranzan and he can, uh, um, rather than doing uh, as usual, like physical damage, he's gonna do animal damage, and he's gonna create this small wind tunnel that is gonna pull uh, enemies uh, together once uh, once again. You have a pressing of this ability, you can see right here, so the skill, when you just press it, also the cooldown is uh, uh, shorter, I think it's uh, uh, six seconds when you press it, when you hold it, it's nine seconds, of course, when you only press it, the skill is going to do less damage than when you hold it. And as well, when you hold it, uh, it applies on a larger AoE, so you can affect uh, a larger area. So that's uh, that's it, so that's the pressing. You can see that you do animal damage at the bottom, uh, Kazuha is launching the air. And then when he's in the air, you have the ability to use the uh, plunging attack with the extra, um, extra um, features. This one right here. And that's the wind tunnel that's gonna pull in enemies. Uh, so that's pretty much how it works. All right. So double ammo damage on the way up and on the way down with the plunging attack, plus the extra um, like the tunnel right there. If you hold it, you can see that the area is larger, and also Kazuha is gonna stay in the air larger uh, more a time. So you can even wait a little bit more to use the plunging attack. Uh, and yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much the skill. Then moving on to the burst, it's called Kazuha Slash. 
is going to do uh, a single slash that's going to do AoE and ammo damage. So once again, in, in front of the character. And then it's going to create this uh, uh, Odom uh, Whirlwind. So this uh, field, where uh, on this field you're going to do um, periodically AoE and ammo damage. Uh, you're going to do it four times, I think, because this um, field is going to last eight seconds. So you can see right here. Um, and uh, pretty much like Sucrose uh, um, or uh, like Banty's uh, burst is going to be able to absorb the different elements and can do additional damage uh, depending on those elements. So you can see right here the different percentages. Uh, it's very nice that this uh, uh, burst doesn't require a lot of energy to activate, only 60 rather than like 80. So uh, you should be able to use this burst quite often. Uh, it should recharge quite uh, quickly. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just uh, here start this uh, challenge so you can see the, the burst in action. So that's the... That's the um, skill. You can see how many uh, particles you gain. So I can already use the burst right now. I'm gonna use it. That's the animation, that's the slash, and that's the whirlwind. Okay, you can see it from, from there. All right, the enemies inside are gonna be uh, dealt the damage four times, I think, because that's how it lasts. And uh, uh, yeah, you can just use it again. You can see that it's gonna absorb, in this case, it absorbed the uh, pyro. And yeah, it's gonna do the of course, always going to do an ammo plus the extra uh, elemental damage from depending on the element that it absorbed. Um, and yeah, so that's uh, that's how the 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 burst uh, works. Then taking a look here at the three passive talents, uh, we see the first one that is going to just decrease the stamina consumption by twenty percent. Then uh, the second one, you're gonna actually the second one that you unlock at ascension two, I think, is this one. Uh, then uh, this one you unlock it at Ascension uh, 4. This one Ascension 2 and this one Ascension 4. Might be the other way around, I don't remember exactly. Anyway, this one, uh, when you use the skill, you also absorb uh, can absorb elements. And therefore, when you use the plunging attack, it's the plunging attack that is going to have the additional benefits of the element absorbed, and it's going to do this extra 200% uh, of attack as, uh, as damage. As elemental damage so uh, so yeah it's very nice to have this extra damage when you use the the skill and then the second passive talent in this case is gonna um, is gonna increase the elemental damage of the teammates so the other characters in the party not of Kazuha so only of the other characters every time you trigger a sewer reaction you're gonna increase the elemental damage uh, bonus by 0.04% so not very high but you're gonna get this extra percentage for every point of elemental mastery for eight seconds so you, we can see here for example that in this trial he has 745 elemental mastery so this means that uh, every time that you create this weird reaction you can uh, gain uh, for other characters a bonus of almost 30% extra elemental damage if I calculate it uh, correctly, so uh, yeah, it's uh, you know it's pretty nice. It's just some extra damage that your other characters have for eight seconds, so uh, why not? And uh, yeah, so those are the uh, passive talents. And uh, then here, taking a look at constellation, C1 is going to decrease the cooldown of the skill, very nice with 10%, and also the burst is going to reset the cooldown of the skill. So, uh, once again, uh, I think this is very, very good C1 because the, the skill is going to be the one that's going to make you earn a lot of particles and therefore you can use your burst more often. So, um, so yeah, very nice C1. C2, uh, the field when you create, that you create from the burst is going to have additional effects. In this case, it's going to increase Kazuha's Elemental Mastery by 200, so very, very nice. Uh, and then it's going to also increase the elemental mastery of other characters within the field by also 200. So remember guys that elemental mastery is going to increase the percentages that you do when you create elemental reactions. So, um, so the more elemental mastery you have, the more damage you're going to do with elemental reactions. So, um, so yeah, that's why uh, for a character like Kazuha that creates a Nemo, a Nemo is very easy 
because every every element with an M is gonna create um, an elemental reaction. It's very easy to proc, so uh, that's why having more elemental mastery, I think it's very good for this new character. Then C3 just increases the skill and the maximum damage, um, and the maximum level, sorry, I said damage, but it's a level. Then C4, uh, this is a very interesting constellation. I don't think it's very useful because of the fact that if you have about like 100 and probably 20% energy recharge, uh, so even less than 135, you should be able to recharge your burst very, very quickly. So I don't think you need, you're ever gonna uh, be in this need, right? Of having energy lower than 45. But anyway, if that happens and you have a C4 Kazuha, you're gonna regenerate more particles when you use a skill and also when you glide. See, when you glide, you're gonna regenerate two energy per second. So, uh, yeah, it's very, very interesting, uh, but I don't think it's a uh, uh, constellation very useful. Then C5 just increases the burst and the maximum level. And then finally C6, as always, is the strongest uh, constellation. And uh, in this case, when you use the skill or the burst, uh, he's gonna gain animal infusion for five seconds. And of course, uh, considering it's a character that you're gonna build a lot of elemental mastery, it's very, very good because uh, your normal attacks are not gonna only do the normal attack damage based on your attack, but also on your elemental mastery if you create elemental reactions. So uh, yes, yeah, very nice. And also for these five seconds, uh, you're gonna gain an additional uh, percentage of normal charge and uh, plunge attack depending on your elemental mastery. And in this case is 0.2%. So it's uh, five times higher than the amount that you gain from the second passive talent. And therefore, uh, in this case, once again, if we just take an example of uh, the elemental mastery that Kazuha has in this trial, 745, the extra uh, normal charged and plunge attack, it's almost 150%. So every time you use your skill or your burst, you're gonna have this anime infusion for five seconds plus this extra uh, damage. So very very strong C6, and uh, yeah. So that's the that's the character overall. Now my impression of this new character is, of course, it's very cool because uh, uh, you know the fact that you can also launch yourself in the air means that you can avoid every every kind of enemy of uh, damage that the enemies can do. Plus, you can create very easily a lot of elemental reactions. You can see how quickly your energy recharges. So I could uh, I could use my burst again, but I can't because of the cooldown. So uh, even with less uh, even with less um, energy recharge, I would I would say that this uh, character doesn't really require a lot of energy recharge. You can just recharge it so quickly by just doing a ton of elemental reactions. So so yeah, it's a pretty cool character. Uh, no, especially when you think about the fact that you're building, you should be building it, uh, maybe not focusing that much on attack, but maybe more on elemental mastery. So you have additional uh, like benefits from your from the passive talents, and then of course when you create elemental reactions. Um, and yeah, if you if you can pull for for more, you you can try to get his C1. I think his C1 is very very good uh, already. And um, his C2 as well, you know, it's going to increase the, the elemental mastery. And then getting him, you know, C4, C6, because C4, in my opinion, is not that good. C6, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to require a lot of money, normally. Uh, a free-to-play player, uh, unless he has a ton of primogens, I don't think he can ever, like, pull uh, long enough to be able to unlock C6. But, uh, but, yeah, you know, you can gain extra benefits. And, yeah, so that's... That was the the look at this new character. So I would say overall it's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool character. Uh, I would say it's gonna be a main uh, damage dealer. Um, but the fact that you can also switch, you know, to create more reactions, also it's very very nice. So you shouldn't lose any benefits. And now that being said, uh, this is the new banner. So you can see that it has Kazuha as. Uh, five-star main character, and then he has secondary characters, Bennett, Razor, and Rosaria. Now, especially Bennett and Rosaria are characters that I use a lot in my current teams, so um, 
the fact that they're going to have higher chance of uh, coming out is very good for me. And currently I have a Rosaria C2, if I remember correctly. Uh, so if I could get uh, no, C4 is not that useful because it's just uh, recharge, you know, energy. Uh, C3 is just increases the, the the talent level, so and C5 as well. I don't think it's really that important. Uh, and then getting her, you know, C6 it reduces the physical resistance. So I don't know. It depends on uh, how lucky I, I can get. And then of course Bennett, I have it already C4. And it would be very cool to just get him C5. So in that way, the um, the burst also has a higher stats, you know, more damage, uh, more attack gained, uh, more HP, you know, regenerated. Uh, so yeah, now C6 Bennett, you should be careful if you want to really unlock it or not, because remember that you're gonna gain Pyro Infusion, and um, and therefore many enemies, you know, for example the slimes or the mages with the Pyro Shield, are immune to uh, to Pyro damage, to elemental damage. So uh, the fact that all your attacks are going to be infused by Pyro if you are on top of uh, a, a Bennett's Burst might not be the best. So I don't really like a lot his C6. So that's why if I get him C5, it's going to be good. If I get another Bennett, I might just not activate his C6 for those uh, reasons. Because I want to be able to um, to like create other uh, and to, especially for the score, Claymore and Polarm Wizards. Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna have pyro. I wanna have other elements. So, so yeah, it's just uh, my personal approach. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna pull right here at the end of this video. So let's see. I have uh, saved quite a lot of primogens. So let's see if I can, if I can maybe get uh, um, uh, some more here. Uh, wait, where is it? Um, no, here. So maybe I can get, uh, I have already four, so maybe let's try 20. So let's try 20 pulls here. I'm gonna pull uh, singularly, one wish at a time, because uh, this has has been proved to be, to bring slightly better chances. So that's why I'm gonna do it one each time. And let's see. I'm gonna skip if it's just a three star uh, weapon or item. Alright, skip. So that's two. Pulls. Let's see. Three. Four. Alright, five. Maybe I'm gonna pull some more. Let's see. I wanna get at least one Bennett, as I said before. Six. Alright, seven. Eight. So I'm very close at getting here at the PD of having a four star. Nine, and yeah, next one is gonna be guaranteed a four star. So let's see what I get. And I got Rosaria. Okay. Well, it's not it's not bad. The only one that I don't really want to get is Razor because I don't really use Razor as character. So uh, either Bennett or Rosaria are my main uh, um, what I'm looking for. So let's keep on going. So that's one. Two. Alright, three. Four. Five. Seven. Right, eight. Nine, and yeah. Therefore, next one is going to be 100% a four star. Let's see what I got. Oh no. An item? Are you kidding? Rip. Alright, so I got here a couple of. Um, of this Stardust uh, exchange, so I'm gonna just use here. I can just get to. Uh, oh yeah, because I already purchased the other three. 
all right so i got two more and uh, most likely uh let's get maybe eight more right so i have uh 10 10 more wishes i can do i still have four thousand primogens so that's uh that should be enough if i want to pull like one more for have bennett if i want to have bennett like c5 all right here we go so i got on my second pool uh four star and here we go i got bennett that's exactly what i wanted so i could stop pulling right now if i if i had to be honest because uh like i can get uh i didn't really want to get rosaria because uh like until her c6 you know, her c4 is not that strong so yeah i mean i don't really i don't really think i can get like three rosarias right in a row um and yeah i got also my ban at c5 that's exactly what i wanted and now uh, that being said i'm not really pulling for this new character uh for kazuha because of the fact of the history uh because here this is the history the my past history without counting the uh 22 wishes i've done so far so you can see that here i have six then uh, that's 12 uh 18 and then 19 so like i got eula another five star character like 20 wishes ago uh so if we consider uh the the 22 wishes i do today is 42 so to reach the pd i would i would need like 40 more wishes and um and i don't think uh, you know i uh, i have enough primogens to be able to to do that many and as well as i said before uh no depending if you really want to get this character then of course pull for it my, my opinion uh like i have already keqing that it's a main dps hero with a, a sword user so i don't think i need another sword user main dps so that's why i don't think i'm gonna pull for this new uh character anyway uh i got here um all right i got another one as well another acquired fate there from using the the stardust exchange so maybe i can just show here one pool on the on the usual banner oh i got a four star let's see what i got okay yeah all right well <laughs> Uh, it's not really a character that I use a lot, but it's uh, it's good, you know, getting more constellations. And I think I have it now C2, right? Yeah, C2. So, yeah, nice. I got uh, another constellation. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So that's uh, the video for today. I hope you enjoyed, and see ya. Bye-bye.